What is going on everybody and welcome back to 911 Operator. I'm Ray J Gamer. Today we're going to be in Fultonale, Alabama for this one. Uh, we already have our unit selected. All of our squads are filled up. Um, nothing much to do. We did this once before. Had audio issues. Uh, so we're going to be redoing it again. So up here it is going to say Duties 1. I'm not sure if you can see it because I have my banner up. But this is going to be our second playthrough. Technically the first playthrough for you. Second one for me. So... Let's just jump into this and see what we got going on. As you can see, it's not a very large uh, area we're going to be working with, so just keep that in mind. So 108 Cedar Hill Road. Guess I just had a stroke, so I'm going to go ahead and roll medical. So they can start doing what they have to do. Try to get these units spread it out just a little bit. Understood. What are the orders? Ten four. Perfect. Perfect. All right. So we got a priority call right now. Let's see what we got. What's your emergency? Hello. I hear a lot of noise coming from the apartment next door. It's keeping my kids up. They can't get to sleep. Can you do something about it? All right, man. What's the address? What's the address you're calling from? Two six one Summit Alley. Okay, and let's see uh, who, you lives, know who there. lives there. Students. There are four of them. One couple and two guys. Okay. You know what's happening at your neighbor's place? Sounds like a party for right now. Maybe an argument. I think they might start fighting at any moment. Okay, so they're getting loud. Okay. Uh, do you know they have any do you weapons think they might in there? Have any weapons? Did you hear something that might indicate that they might be armed in any way? I have no idea. Yeah, I know. Okay, no problem. I'll send the police. I'll send a couple of officers over to check things out and see what's going on, okay? Thank you. I'll be waiting at my place. Bye. <laughs> so she requested police. Um, we're going to get police out there. It sounds like a party going wrong, but I don't know. We're going to find out in a second exactly what it is they're doing. We got two units that's almost there. Childbirth. Pregnant woman expected to give birth at any moment. Okay, no problem. As soon as they transport to the hospital, we're gonna get them. We're ready. Um, we're gonna get them to roll to that childbirth. On my way. All right. We're ready. I copy. Going there. Two thirteen Mulberry. Um, okay, it's been resolved. Got a vehicle theft going on right now. Uh, hopefully our unit right here can intercept. Let's see what we got going on down here. Jesus, we got too many people right now. Um, right there. <laughs> this now we can do about that situation. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hello. Uh, I would like to report a robbery. Okay, where is it? Where did this happen? Two six four Creek View Circle. Okay, when was it? Yesterday. I'm glad it was yesterday, to be honest with you, because I don't have anybody to send to. <laughs> but they my ass. Don't don't you don't give me that. <laughs> we got another loud party going on. Man, everybody's partying right now. Everybody's loud and partying. We got these police officers, they're so tied up right now. Uh, I wish I could help them, but I really don't have the cash or the resources to um, help them out right now. Ready for the next case. Oh, they did it now. So we're gonna roll them to that vehicle theft because I do believe that it's probably gonna result in shots fired um, just because of the nature of what it is. Drug uses, there's a man putting a needle in his arm, 279 Decatur Highway, so he's right off the main highway. Um, we got some people headed out to that as well. Well, yeah, catch the guy before he gets away. Got him. What do we got now? Loud party. Okay, I already saw that. Two loud parties going on. Okay, got two parties going on at the same time in two different neighborhoods. It's no problem. Taking one at a time. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Kitchen is on fire. Ooh. 
Ooh, okay, what's your address? Where are you calling from? <laughs> 150 Rain Tree Lane. Okay. Um, what what's is that's on fire? Oil in the frying pan. Nice. Do you have a fire extinguisher? Okay. Do you have a fire extinguisher? Yeah. Uh, okay. use it? Use it to put out the fire. I don't think it's gonna work. Oh my god! Oh my god! It blew Never mind. Get out the out. house. Okay, get yourself and anyone else that's in the house <laughs> out of the house now. The fire department will be there soon. Help! I say get the jackass. Now, I don't know. I need to, I need to do some research on some stuff. <laughs> I just need to do some research on some stuff. I'm just curious now. How do you put out a well I know how to put out a grease fire my way, but I need to find the the proper way to do it. There is a way to do it. You guys might have ran a red light. I'm not gonna let any of my officers go to that loud party without um, proper backup, so they're just gonna have to kinda hang out a little bit. I'm like I'm missing a unit. Why are you reporting to a fire, dude? What do we got? Car bump. Somebody, car got hit. <laughs> we'll get somebody out there in a second. Reporting. Go ahead and help him at that party. I knock on wood. I'm not gonna say it yet, but we haven't had any shots fired. Nine one one. What's well, your I said it anyway, didn't it? What? Hello? Is anyone there? Sounds like kids in the background. Uh, we're gonna hang up and redial. If you can't talk. Please press any Let's digit see. on your phone, okay? Yeah, let's hang up and read down. Huh. We're gonna send police. So we got somebody lying down on the street right now. Is uh, whoa, whoa, slow it down. Slow this time down, son. Um, it's gonna be a two eight one Albert Drive. So we get somebody out there. We also gotta get somebody out to that car bump as well. What's this? 254 Elizabeth Avenue, Epsley attack. Alright, we got somebody headed to that as well. I mean, we're doing pretty good today. The first time I did it, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, it was a complete disaster. But right now, it's not going as... It's not going all that bad right now. Everything seems to be doing pretty fine right now. So that's that's good. Broken Bone, 129 11th Street. So we get somebody out there in a second. What's your emergency? My car was stolen! Win. When was your car stolen? Just now. I've seen those Great. thieves driving away in my car. Send somebody to catch them. Shut up. I will. Where are you? <laughs> Where did this happen? In the middle of the street. While I was standing at a red light, he just dragged me out of my car and drove away. Bro, I need an address. What's the address of where this happened, sir? It happened at... 133 Myrtle Street. Okay. Uh. Okay, I'm going to need your license. Get some plate. plates on that vehicle. What color is your All right. car? Red. What Red car. car is All right. It was a van. All right. How many was so it? How many suspects did you see? There were two of them. We're notifying the officers in the area now. They'll see if they can find your car. Thank you. Goodbye. There's nothing here. All right. So we got somebody headed out to his location. That's awesome. We got police right here going towards that um, unknown call. We just want to check it out and make sure everybody's okay. Um... Just want to make sure that everybody is fine. An amputated limb. A limb was amputated by heavy machinery. All right, we're going to hear we get someone out to that. That's a little bit more important than a broken bone, unfortunately. I mean, I know a broken bone can hurt, but somebody has a limb completely removed from their body. So that's that's not good. Going to get some more units uh, started to help resolve this um, stolen vehicle situation. Uh, so we're gonna break and roll all of them up to that location. We got another car bump, uh, which he can actually deal with while he search and see what's going on. All right. Now I would love to call in a helicopter. We just don't have enough money right now, but when we do, we'll call him in. Um, just don't have the money right now to do it. There's nothing here. Waiting for instructions. Waiting for orders. Right. So 
we're going to start sending units to fan out in different areas to search for this um, stolen vehicle. Yep, everything looks good. We can't do it now. Why you can't? Standing by. Reporting on my way. Injured right away. Object not found. Object not found. All right. Object not found. So they're gonna get him transported to the hospital. Everything's looking good, Check looking great, actually. Um. Reporting. Heading over there. We're just gonna keep clearing out these sectors. Sector, sec um. It's the main thing that we have to worry about right now. As you can see, we got a lot of it to clear out too. <laughs> <laughs> but we'll find here. it. I'm There's nothing here. Right away. Sector clear. Object found. Got him. Reporting. All right, guys, let's go. Reporting. He got our guy. Waiting for instructions. I copy. Understood. What are you? I copy. Going we got there. our guy. Let's go, guys. Everybody. We do not want any shots fired. And that's it. We did it. We did it successfully. That's amazing. Uh, we don't have any... Well, we had three. The Epsley attack, Broken Bone, and the Empty Call. Uh, those are our negatives. But that's okay. We made 27000 profit today. Uh, 14 people were ticketed. Four was hospitalized, unfortunately. Uh, no one went to jail today. That's crazy. Uh, we also had no shots fired, so I'm definitely happy to uh, say that. No shots fired today. Uh, we did have a one officer to be injured, um, but she's uh, she has a minor injury, so she'll be okay. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of I keep back this oh, man. I keep saying Ace Combat. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode of Number One Operator. This was Fortinell, Alabama, guys. Great city, visit it. So much fun. I'll see you next time. Peace. <laughs>